Hi, I'm Jessica. And I'm Tracy. And this is She's on Top, the place where we celebrate and elevate women. And this is our new series, The New Normal. And today our guest is Libby Wildman. And Libby, can you tell us a little bit about your business? Hey ladies, as I was saying to you, I'm so excited to do this because I actually had to put some makeup on today and, and <laughs> I feel like a human being again. And, and we were all comparing uh, our roots beforehand to see how we're doing. I know, no, I know. no it's good. Um, so my business is Davis Ray and, and essentially we help people with all things to do with money stories. So uh, people sometimes are worried that they don't have enough. They worry about giving it away. They worry about ruining their children. Um, so we essentially just understand people's own money stories and then we help them to move along the line through conversations as to how to feel good about their money stories. And then obviously the protection side of things. Um, I've been having so many phone calls that I finally posted on LinkedIn. People are really, really concerned right now that if COVID affects them or their family that their life insurance won't pay out or their disability insurance won't pay out. And I just want people to know absolutely it will. I, I know people think insurance companies might try and like sneak out of things, but um, they're actually making it easier for us to protect people who want to get protection through this time. Like we still have clients having babies, um, but you do not need to worry. If you get sick because of COVID, there's no special little clause by the insurance companies where they're going to try and screw you. You absolutely can collect on that. That, oh, that's, that's a huge relief, I'm sure. Yeah, that, that is amazing. And what we'll do, yeah. Libby, is maybe we'll put the link to your company in the um, description on YouTube. So if people have any questions or concerns, can they contact you directly? 100%. Or email you? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, our association, Advocus, has asked us all to sign up just to even have conversations with people. And, and you know, we've talked with lots of people who are clients and not clients, but just to say, hey, here are the resources that are out there for you, or also, you know, things may not be as bad as, as you wish. Um, we've talked to a lot of clients about, you know, going to the banks and, and putting their mortgages on this deferral program. What does that look like? Because, you know, everyone's stressed, so they're not getting the right message. And so if they can talk to someone like me who can just walk them through these things, um, we're, it makes me feel good to bring some calm to people. And it also helps me from not going down rabbit holes, right? Because it's nice totally. when you're helping someone to feel good about it. And uh, I think Zoe and I were talking about that. How do you stay out of the rabbit hole? You do good, you help others. Yeah. And what does the rabbit hole look like for you, like Libby? Like what's your personal family situation? Like how are you managing this a few weeks in? Yeah, so for the first time in seven years, we're all living together. My 19-year-old, my 22-year-old, my 23-year-old. Uh, my boyfriend, who I used to live with five days a week, I now see him on war leave on the weekends. I feel like <laughs> the war on, on the weekends, I'm allowed to go see my lover. He's on his own, and he's quite happy. Uh, so, I, you know, there, there's a lot of stress in all of our lives. My daughter was supposed to be traveling until October. Uh, she saved $25,000 to go away for a year. She had to come home from India, thank God, because they're now beating up tourists in India. Uh, my other son came home early from Dalhousie, but they're concerned about, you know, their education, their jobs. And I have to remember that just because I'm worried or my parents are worried about getting sick, this next generation has got a lot of concerns about what does their future look like? So it's having real conversations. Um, I've also got involved with Zoe's uh, volunteer organization where our home is gonna be a place where supplies can be dropped off and then we'll be delivering you know, healthy snacks or masks or whatever it is that we can get to the appropriate uh, places that need them. Um, another girlfriend of mine who runs a midwifery clinic, she had no gowns and no masks, which is just wow. unfathomable to me that she is going into people's homes and having to help them. And of course, you'd want to have a home birth now instead of a hospital birth. So again, through clients who are dentists, we were able to get her 25 gowns and, you know, you just do that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you, you do. Yeah. And it's actually interesting what you said about having the grown children, because I have two well, three grown children, but two living at home with me, and it's the same thing. One I know, just I think grad... we should set them up on Zoom calls. We, Maybe they we can... should. They, they could, exactly. Well, one <laughs> you're also... good looking. I'm sure your kids are good looking. <laughs> Her kids are gorgeous. Two blonde daughters and a hunk of a son. Handsome son. <laughs> yeah. But it's the same thing. So they were also, you know, one's planning on traveling, and their plans have changed. Also save money, work to save money, and also going into the workforce now when you're just graduating. 
it's a scary time, a really scary time. So, so as I say, on that note, like, has this affected your business? Like, how's it affected your, your company, oh, your business? I was just going to say one thing beforehand, just to stay on the kids subject just for yeah. two seconds. Um, I saw a great article basically saying it's a great time for young people to watch companies right now in this crisis and see how they lead. Like, see, it's a good way to sort of go, God, who do I want to work for? Who do I want to be? How do companies handle a crisis? What are their values? Kind of what Zoe, we keep referring to Zoe, just so anybody who's watching this, that's Zoe Share of um, Schmooze Media, who's another, she's on Top Lady, who is, you know, working with the home front to um, help aid everybody in COVID. But, you know, Zoe always talks about core values. And I thought, yeah, with teenage or with young people, it's a great chance to think about how, you know, what, what your job is going to be, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's difficult that it is, it's an opportunity because it's how our, how our, how, which businesses are resilient. Yeah, no, I totally agree. And, and, you know, I think one of my skills after 35 years of helping families, you become a bit like a psychologist and it's the conversations that I can have either with clients or kids, because I do a lot of mentoring is holding a space for them to actually come to the conclusions of their own power and their own abilities to overcome mm -hmm. and think and be creative. And one of the things I've been saying to not just people in their 20s, but their 30s, their 40s, their 50s, if, if they are out of work right now, can they find a company that they admire and respect and reach out to them and say, I don't need to get paid, but I respect and admire what you're doing right now. And I have this skill set that I would like to offer you. And mm -hmm. You know, and, and I think then that person feels good. And if they're looking for a job in the future and that company then is back on its feet or you have something to put on your resume that says, you know, for instance, we're, we're friends with Nick Saul who runs the community uh, food centers. And there's a lot of people in Canada who are having problems getting food. And so if that's something that speaks to you, why wouldn't you reach out to them and say, I have four hours a week. I can help you with digital marketing. I have a car. Um, I, whatever it is. So then you feel good. You're not asking for money. Uh, but those are the people who are going to shine. And, and I think Jessica and Tracy, you're both so right. It's been super interesting. And, and we talk about this as well. Who in this time of crisis is showing up as a leader and who is not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. absolutely. So and go back to that sort of question. Have you had to change your business at all? Has it affected you? Um, you know, yeah, I mean, we, Davis Ray uh, invests clients money and we're really, really fortunate. John O'Connell, my, my partner, who's my life partner and my business partner, he's, he said he's been through 22 down markets and he really was very concerned in the fall about this and started moving clients to cash and more so in January. We're still even selling things now as the market bumps up. So our clients don't need to be that worried and, and Clearly, we're having lots of conversations with them. On my end of the business, where we do more of the protection side, it's getting challenging to get life insurance in place for people who really, really want it if they have health problems because they have to write to the doctors and the doctors aren't writing back. But the insurance companies, again, are helping with all of that. Uh, so I think for now, we have conversations with people. Um, I've heard, you know, with the banks, we had a client who said he phoned Scotiabank was on hold for three hours, finally got through wow. to somebody and said, we'll hope that to get you somebody to, to call back. And, and, you know, I just think if you get a live voice, that's, that really does everything. Talking with you guys today, it just, it made me feel good. I was like, oh, I'm going to talk about positivity today. <laughs> yeah. so that, it it's kind of our aim with this is just, to, I think our thing is just like, let's share information that people can like we have so many experts in our community so let's share information that people can rely on because there's a lot of misinformation and a lot of fear and so that's kind of our goal with this and with talking to you is it's sort of like you don't know even if it helps one person you don't know but it also i think it just helps universally that everybody is trying to figure it out we're all in the same boat we're all struggling in different ways but we're all struggling which is what unites us this is so, so different because you cannot point to somebody and say they are not affected. Yeah, it's for the, it it's for the first time ever. Some of the most uplifting conversations, because I know, you know, your group and, and my group um, and, and Alexis dovetail, all our women's communities overlap, but I've had some really amazing conversations with some of our women 
who very much so could lose their business. Mm -hmm. And these are women who were thinking they were going to sell their business in two or three years and then pivot into something else they wanted to do. And now they're facing this reality that that business that was worth five or 10 million may not even survive. And yet one of the comments I had from one of our women was um, that at the same time, what's going on has allowed her to let go of a whole bunch of things that she had felt uh, really pushed into doing before and obligated to do before. And so as much as she's facing the loss of her business, from a spiritual point of view, she is understanding this may be an opportunity to be more um, true to herself about what she will do and will not do now in the future. What brings her joy? I think the biggest struggle, because I have, you know, family members going, having the same thing, might lose their business and people I know. And that the, even the harder part is their employees. Yeah. I think that's the, the, the painful part. It's like, okay, maybe I can pivot and survive or whatever, but I've been taking care of these, some of these businesses for 20 years, yeah. you know? And then, so I think the stress of that, like, is really huge you know yeah because small businesses generally your employees are like family yeah for sure yeah totally and yeah so I, I think it's important for all of us um I almost look at it I balance out my day that I call a couple of people that I know were in deep places of pain and I'll have the energy to help them and then I want to then turn to somebody and talk to them who I know will bring me some positivity back. So I kind of, it's like a diet. Like I kind of try and keep my diet between those that I know I can help and those that'll maybe reduce me so that I can get back on the horse and, and have positive conversations again with people who are living more in pain. Um, so I think that's really important to, yesterday I wasn't doing so good. I had to <laughs> apologize numerous times to my children. I'm getting really good at that. Because I was cranky, man, and, and I'm scared too. I'm scared for them, yeah. and, and I'm scared for the world. Uh, but then you have a good sleep, sometimes with a little bit of help, and uh, <laughs> you wake up and you say, hey, we are so privileged in our country. We're so privileged. And um, so who can we help today? That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Well, yeah. But it's true. Much. Yeah. I was going to say, sorry. we're running out of time here. We can yeah. go oh, okay. Yeah. So we should wrap it up. Um, yeah. But thank you so much. That's been really, really helpful. We'll put all your contact information below if anyone wants to reach out to you. And thank you so much for talking with us. We really appreciate and it. And I look forward to the most massive party when we are all oh, allowed. Sure. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> thank you, girls, for doing what you're doing. You're really amazing. I appreciate right. it. Right. No, Thanks, thank you. Nice, nice okay. to see you safe. Bye, yeah. Bye. 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 Thank you.